Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have for you guys Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, apparently Five Nights at Freddy's is actually coming to Fortnite, or at least that's the major speculation going on right now. I cannot believe I'm actually saying that. So, the reason being is because FNF, FNAF Scott Games has now posted the following, well, roadmap. So here's the lineup for August, and we can see on August 6th, it says question mark, question mark, question mark, collab announcement. Now everyone seemed to think this is for Fortnite because this exact same date is now lining up perfectly with the upcoming release date of V30.40, which is August 6th. That is actually a Fortnite, that is a massive downtime update for Fortnite, so this does pretty much line up uh, to actually be the exact same day. So it's very possible we could be seeing, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's X Fortnite for the very first time. And the entire community is now celebrating. Even though it's prematurely, we have no idea what's actually going to be happening. Well, the entire community is actually celebrating right now. We have all these memes in the back of it. We have Fortnite news pages talking about this. We even have FNAF uh, pages and news pages talking about this. Leakers, absolutely everyone is excited for this upcoming collaboration. Now, there is some naysayers that say, well, these characters will not fit inside the game. They're way too big. Well, we have people actually posting these types of videos showcasing that it's really not that big. These characters could easily fit among like the T-60 power armor from Fallout and so on and so forth. These characters, you know, they fit pretty much the exact same thing. It's very possible we could definitely be seeing this. And people also forget that Thanos is inside the game and that dude's absolutely massive. So there's plenty of big characters that will, you know, easily match, the, you know, the same height with everything of these characters. Yes, they're going to be absolutely massive hitboxes, but who cares, man? It's Five Nights at Freddy instead of Fortnite. Uh, with that being said, I really hope we actually see some sort of actual uh, collaboration inside the game where we see, like, jump scares inside the game, you know, stuff like that. We have not really received anything like that in a very long time. I think a few years back, we got some Fortnite mirrors, like, pop-ups, like, with zombies, stuff like that, but imagine for Five Nights at Freddy's, like, I would absolutely poop my pants. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. With that being said, here's a full confirmed downtime for the next several months. I'm not really sure how she got a hold of this, but yeah, from June 25th all the way to October 15th, this is going to be all the updates as of right now. Now, he did note that these could actually change at some point, or of course, they may be off for like a day or two, but yeah. Without, without a doubt, you know, these are massive updates coming soon, and a lot of these are going to be pretty special. Along with that, they already are testing Season 4, so the Marvel season is already being tested as of today, which would mean that a whole bunch of stuff is definitely coming soon. And to add to this stuff, we also have the Summer Update taking place over on Tuesday, and what might feature and what might be inside there is this massive list in the background video. Now, this is just some of them. Heavy Impact Sniper Rifle, the Minigun, Pirates of the Caribbean as the Summer Event, new nade location, plus more map changes, three end vaults, the treasure maps, pirate cannons, and flintlock pistol, a new mini map, Davy Jones skin in the inside the end shop, plus more shop skins, summer skins, which are by, which by the way could be any number of these in the background video, uh, part three, possibly part four of the storyline quest, P3 to enter the Nitro Drome, and uh, Magneto release plus his mythic. Yeah, we're finally getting Magneto inside the game. It only took like several months. Uh, but yeah, the summer update is going to be absolutely massive, and like I stated before, Every skin you guys see in the back video has the potential to come out during the summer update. Along with that, a whole bunch of, of course, original skins. So, pretty big drop, to say the least. Um, the Wanderer just got some more teasers. So, Megalodon and the Wanderer have common interests on the island, aka the Panda Pandora Box Gems. No one should see the Wanderer's face as it's beyond comprehension. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting. I honestly have zero idea where this character is going, but I want to point out two things. This could be for Dr. Doom, as he does have a damaged face behind his mask, uh, but this time we're talking about the face behind the cloak. So, mm, not quite sure. Gino's facial features were said to be able to swift, uh, so possible candidate, for, but also very unlikely. A new character this could definitely be. So let, so let us know your speculations down in the comments below. Along with that, we just got some brand new voice lines, which are very mysterious, so check them out in the background video. Place yourselves, weaklings, for a moment of humility from your conqueror. There is no me without you. My purpose is to take, to destroy, to consume. Without your miserable selves, I would conquer only fields and rivers. Doesn't that make you feel special? I'm always looking for new brutes and brothers to join my marauders. To apply, let's just say jobs among the marauders are taken, not given. 
So Megalodon's just going absolutely sicko mode. Who knows, man? The dude's absolutely just talking out of his butthole. With that being said, new Fortnite Save the World news. Yeah, for the first time ever. I'm pretty sure I've not covered Save the World in literal years at this point, but they're actually getting a new item shop. So here's an early look at that in the background video. So nothing too crazy. It looks the exact same in my personal opinion, aside from, you know, before you guys enter the item shop. Um, and finally speaking, do you guys remember the community choice? Well, what if we actually brought that back and we featured Travis Scott, the Paradigm, and Kratos? Like, what a crazy drop that actually would be. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, my friends, that's all for today's Fortnite video. Make sure you guys join my Discord. I'm giving away a bunch of E-Bucks this week, and you guys are not going to want to miss it. The link is in the bio. I'll see you guys there, and thank you guys for watching.